Hello everyone, welcome to the video number 67 in Selenium C Sharp course. In this video, we will discuss about Selectors Hub, which is a Chrome extension used to build and verify the XPath and CSS selectors. The agenda of this video is what is a Selectors Hub, how to install Selectors Hub extension, where to find the Selectors Hub tab in the Chrome browser, Selectors Hub features like auto suggest XPath. Invalid XPath error message, Shadow DOM support, iframe support, and SVG element XPath support. The prerequisites uh, is that you should already know what is XPath and CSS selectors. If you are not sure what these are, then I suggest you to go through the following videos before you can continue this video. Chapter 8, where you will learn what is a CSS selector. Chapter number 9 what is XPath locator and XPath locator syntax, what is absolute XPath and relative XPath. Chapter number 10 to know what are XPath functions like text starts with contains not lost and position. Chapter number 11 what is an axis, what are the different axis like parent, child, following sibling, following, preceding, preceding sibling ancestor and descendant. Now let us see what is selector sub. Selector sub is a time saver tool if you are trying to write your own XPath or CSS selector. You don't have to copy and paste the values from the DOM to build the XPath. It gives you quick auto suggestions on text, attributes, siblings, parents and child nodes and ancestors and descendants also. If you have written a wrong XPath, the tool will inform you about the errors and suggest you the right way to correct it. Selectors Hub is a free tool, no license is required. Right now it is available only in Chrome browser. It will be soon available in Firefox, Edge and Safari browsers also. This tool is created by Sanjay Kumar who also created a Chrome path which is very popular tool among the automation engineers. It is most secure because it does not store any user data. The tool runs in the local env environment. Injection of the script happens only when you open this tool in the elements tab sidebar. Now let us install selectors hub from the Chrome web store. You can visit the Chrome web store by clicking on the apps shortcut or you can type the URL also. I will go via Chrome Web Store shortcut. I click on the Web Store here on the right corner. This is the one way of reaching. Other way is chrome.google.com slash web store also you can reach. So I will type in the search that selectors hub. You will see the extension which is offered by Sanjay Kumar you click on the add to chrome. Now we have successfully installed the selector sub extension. Now where to find the tool in the browser now? The default behavior of the browser is to hide the extensions which it has added. So you can click on the extensions and you can see that select selectors hub is there and pin it. When you pin it, it will be visible. And now visit the website which you want to find the expert. I will open the UI testpractice.com. Now how do we find the tool in the browser? So to do this, either you press F12 or right click on any element and inspect it. I have pressed F12. So now we are in the dev tools. In the dev tools, we are in the elements tab and from the elements tab, if you took a look at the right hand side, you should be able to see the selectors hub extension. But here, it may not be visible because more number of items are there. Either you resize it or you can click on this double headed arrow mark. You will be able to see that. Click on that. Now we have the extension. Now we will go to selectors hub features demo one by one. Let's start with the auto suggest. I have navigated to ankpro.com account slash register. Now select the element for which you want to write the XPath. I am clicking on the inspector tool and I am selecting this 
email input text element you can see that input input element is having several attributes the moment you type slash slash you will see the tag name and then select it there are several tags with the same name so you can open the square bracket and it will show you the all possible values which you can use all attributes all data elements you can see you can choose whichever you want so i can choose i at the rate id is equal to email so now you can see only one element has been selected you can also use the accessors like following you just have to type a4 you get the following following colon colon automatically it has taken and what do you want the following say uh, div so it has selected all the following divs if you want preceding you just have to type preceding and then select and which element you want say you want a divs so all the preceding divs it is showing likewise if you want to see the parent you can see the parent parent star whatever the parent it is it will show there is no child element for this like this you can also go for ancestor ancestor uh, anything so it will show all the ancestors of this element we can also use the css selector so now you just have to type input it will select all the input elements but you want a input element with the id as email so just type hash then it will automatically show you what is the id of that element it will select that element similarly you can use only the tag name or the class name also class which is form control for that element so this is about the auto suggest feature let's see the error message what if if we do some mistake so let's start with one by one so i will type slash slash i'll give you input then i will open and i'll press enter so i have not given the closing bracket it's showing that invalid x path closing square bracket is missing so uh, i will give a select something like this and i might miss a closing single quotes then also it will show the error when you press enter invalid and it is missing colon or you are giving only single colon press enter it will show you the it is missing one more colon so this is how it shows the error in the x path now i'll show you one more feature which is a shadow dom support for that we'll visit a different website we have a search bar in this page and if you try to search that element here slash slash input you will not get that element you can see that it is zero of zero but you can see that input element is there it is not showing up because it is in the shadow dom now let me inspect the element and let's see whether the tool helps us to find out that element or not you can see that the color has changed to blue color and it is mentioning that in shadow dom here if i give input it's already matching one element so in shadow dom there are two types shadow root open shadow root close the tool will help you to show the elements which are having the shadow root open currently shadow root close elements search is not at available in the tool now let me show you the fourth feature which is iframe support for that i'll open the uitestpractice.com here 
we have a control here which is in the iframe first let's go to the developer tools and i'll open the selector sub now i will try to inspect that element when i try to inspect the element you can see that it has changed to in frame this is an indication that the element which you are looking for it's in the frame if you scroll up a little bit you can see that that particular element is present in the i frame in the selenium we will switch the context from parent to the frame and if you want to inspect any other element which is outside the frame just click on that element so then if you select that element and click here then it will change to it will change the color to orange and it will show you the export now the context has switched to parent there is one catch in the iframe if the element is present in the iframe and that iframe source is from the same origin then it will the tool will help you to write the export or build the export if the source of the element is coming from a different source then it will not show it will not help you to build the export so let's see that demo as well for that i am navigating to selectorsub.com/contact page here we have a google form this is a google form as you can see this google forms blog is coming from a google but the other part of the page it is a selector sub so here the origin is different so now let's see what happens with the tool when we try to inspect the element with this so now i'll keep this uh, selector sub open and i'll try to inspect the element which is outside that means this one i'll tap slash slash it will show you the tag type i can select it i can further go i can do all these things but when i try to select an element uh, let me select this one so now i am in a text area if i try to select that it will not show anything so it's still showing the old element so nothing is coming out there the reason being that control is in google forms and google form is not from the same origin now let me show you the svg elements support in the tool svg elements does not support the standard export pattern so most of the times we struggle while writing the export for svg elements to demonstrate this feature i am in w3 schools website so i will select f12 and uh, i will bring the selectors hub and this circle what you see it is made up of an svg element you cannot let me select this first so you cannot directly type like slash slash svg you cannot give like this but if you if you see the moment i type slash slash automatically it is suggesting me to slash slash star name of is equal to circle because the element what you see here it is having a circle the element name is circle so it is suggesting a right export you click on this it will select that element there are two circles in fact so similarly let me go to little complex or a different one okay let me select this one this is a rectangle so if i click on this and then i'll come here as a slash slash you can see that name function is equal to a rectangle it is identifying that a rectangle so with this we reach to the end of the video we have covered the agenda where we understood what is selector sub how to install selector sub how to find the selector sub in the elements tab and we have seen the features like auto suggest error messages when we use the invalid export shadow dom support iframe support and svg element export support